remember to like and subscribe. How's it going? It's Jay with Kinetic and today I want to do a quick video with you on how to use your Elgato Stream Deck to control QLab. So, Stream Decks are awesome and with their increasing popularity, it's almost essential that you learn it. They can do so many different tasks and running with companion and different instances, you can control so much equipment within the entertainment world. So, this is just a quick video, how to use this to do simple tasks like control QLab, but in the process, I hope you watch and I hope you see what I'm doing and it inspires you to explore the Stream Deck, explore Companion, and try different things out and see what it's capable of because you're going to be surprised at how easy it is and what a wonderful tool it is. So enjoy the video. First thing you want to do is you want to have both of these programs downloaded. This is Companion and this is the app that comes from directly from Elgato's website for the Stream Deck. We are going to start with Companion. Launch GUI. And you're going to see instances, buttons, surfaces, and settings. We are going to start with surfaces. Surfaces is where your device is going to be seen. So I have Elgato Stream Deck device. This shows that the GUI is actually recognizing this. You also have an emulator that you can use, which is right here. Buttons, this is where we are, where we are going to assign buttons. Notice there's a grayed out zone right here. That's indicating this is a 15 button Stream Deck compared to the Stream Deck XL. And instances. Instances is the best part of Companion. Instances is where we load a module based on a manufacturer's preset and what we want our Stream Deck to do. So I'm going to type in QLab. Add. And now, if I go into buttons and I go to presets, now I should see figure, 30, figure 53 QLab. Now, you don't have to use your presets. I can select a button right here and button type, regular button. And then I type in QLab. And now I have all of these buttons that I could put in there. Like go, right? Now, there's no icon there. It's, it's set up to be a go button, but we'll get rid of this for now and presets, figure 53 QLab, QList, play, pause, stop, panic, and as you can see my Stream Deck's updating. Now, I want to keep this basic because I really want this to inspire those of you that haven't used the Stream Deck before and kind of play around and figure out what you like, so I'm going to keep it simple. I've loaded all these buttons in, that's it. I'm gonna exit the web-based GUI. Now, this is important. You see how it says running here? We are going to hit hide, not close, because Companion needs to run in the background. So hide, and as you can see up at the top toolbar, it's there. And now, Let me load a demo with QLab. And I've only done what I've shown you so far, but in QLab, now I can advance with these. I can go. We are about to resume our program. Please check your devices. Stop works. We are about to begin. Can everyone Panic fades it out. Works exactly how it should work and exactly what you'd want it to. Now, if we were simply content with this, you could stop here and now you have a basic QLab controller. But let's see how much further we can go with this. So let me completely exit out of here. I want to launch QLab directly from my Stream Deck. So for that, 
I am now going to load the Stream Deck app. And as you can see, this is very basic. I'll even delete the little welcome. And there's nothing on this because Stream Deck and Companion can't run and control this simultaneously. So that's also why the guys at Elgato built a companion module to go into their app. You see companion button right here down in the custom tab. I'm going to grab this and drop this in here. And see where it says page. Now I'm going to go to page one and it should be panic. Boom. Now we're going to drop companion buttons here for all of the buttons that we've already made in companion. Even the page up, page down. So now, and as you can see, I have companion running with Stream Deck. I'm going to make a button. Open and drag it here. And now it's going to say choose an app or a file. So we're going to choose from the desktop programs, QLab, this application here. And as you can see, it hasn't loaded here yet. And that's because Companion is still controlling the actual Stream Deck. So I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Now, I want a button to launch QLab, but let's get a button to actually launch uh, a QLab file. So I'm gonna put another one there. And I'm gonna go into my documents and a QLab file, open that. And last, this is just a cool thing they put in there and that's CPU usage, I like having this one too. Boom, dropped. And here's how I want page one to look. This is a basic QLab setup. And as you can see on the Stream Deck, none of that has applied yet, right? So I'm going to close Companion and it's gonna shut off. And I'm going to quit the Stream Deck. Yep. And now we are going to reload Stream Deck first. And as you can see, we now have our QLab button, our demo, which there's no button for it yet, and I'll show you that last, and that CPU one we made. But as you can see here, it has the unplugged icon because nothing is registered there yet. So we need to launch Companion and have Companion run in the background. And as soon as I launch Companion, boom, there we go. I'm going to hide this. And let's just check it and make sure everything works. So I'm gonna exit this. And as you can see, Companion and Stream Deck are running in the background. We'll start with our QLab button. Boom, works exactly how we want. Let's see if this launches a file directly. It's exactly what we wanted to happen. Cool. All of our actions are there. Now that we're in QLab, again. We are about to resume our program. Everything works as such. The last thing I want to leave you with is, is really simple, and that's just this demo icon here. So I'm gonna go back and configure stream app and they've made this super streamlined. I simply select it, I go down to the icon and I put create new icon because it needs to be 72 by 72 pixels. And they have built a tool in here just to make this easy for you. So you can upload whatever pictures you want to here, 
but really simply, they also have icons down here. I can drop a picture in if I want. I can type text in if I want. Uh, let's do this is pip let's do the file icon so double click file icon file icon is here and we're gonna say text and call this QLab demo. Highlight that. Go over here to color. Make it. Make it yellow. And let's make the font bigger. And in here we have handles just like we would with any other. Illustrator type thing, pop it up here, and really simple. I'm happy with this. All I have to do here is save key, and it's going to drop down here. I go back to this, select set from file, I go into my downloads, stream deck key, open, and ta da! QLab. Demo. Again, I exit this guy, tap here, pops right up. And that's it. Remember to like and subscribe.